Did you know that the megalithic temples of Malta are older than the pyramids of Egypt and Stonehenge in England? That's right. These fascinating structures, nestled in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea, are among the oldest freestanding buildings on Earth. Constructed over 5,000 years ago, these temples rise from the rugged landscape, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of our ancestors. On the Maltese islands, there are more than 30 temples, each with its unique features and mysteries waiting to be unraveled. The megalithic temples of Malta were first discovered in the early 19th century. Since then, they have captivated the imagination of historians, archaeologists, and tourists alike. Despite extensive research and exploration, much about these ancient structures remains unknown, shrouded in the mists of time. These temples are not just ancient piles of stone, they are meticulously arranged, showcasing the sophisticated construction techniques of the people who built them. Massive limestone blocks, some weighing over 20 tons, were carved and fitted together with precision. The intrigue surrounding these temples extends beyond their construction. They were clearly of significant religious and cultural importance to the people who built them. The intricate carvings and artifacts found within their walls provide tantalizing glimpses into the lives and beliefs of these ancient people. Even today, the megalithic temples of Malta continue to inspire awe and curiosity. Their silent stones whisper tales of a bygone era, inviting us to pause and ponder the mysteries they hold. They are a testament to the enduring spirit of human creativity and resilience, standing as silent sentinels of our shared past. So buckle up as we journey back in time to explore these marvels of ancient architecture. From their fascinating construction to their enduring legacy, these megalithic temples hold a wealth of stories waiting to be told. As we delve into their history and significance, you'll discover why the megalithic temples of Malta are a treasure not just for Malta but for the entire world. Imagine building a structure with stones weighing up to 20 tons without modern machinery. That's exactly what the temple builders of Malta accomplished. The very thought of lifting a 20-ton stone, let alone maneuvering it into place, seems unfathomable. Yet the ancient builders of the Maltese temples did just that, and they did it using tools and techniques that were far from modern. The temples were primarily constructed from two types of stone, coralline limestone and globigerina limestone. The former a hard and durable material was used for the external walls, providing a strong protective shell. The latter, softer and easier to work with, was used for the inner furnishings and decorative elements. The source of these stones was local quarries. The builders would carve out the required shapes, then transport them to the temple sites. The exact method of transportation is still a mystery, but it's believed they used a combination of sledges, rollers, and manpower. The assembly process was equally impressive. Stones were meticulously placed, one on top of the other, in a dry stone wall technique. These temples weren't just piles of rocks, though. They were architectural masterpieces. The builders incorporated unique features such as trilithon doorways and oracle holes. The trilithon doorways, formed by two vertical stones supporting a horizontal stone lintel, were a key structural element. The oracle holes, circular openings in the walls or doors were likely used for communication or ritualistic purposes. The precision and care with which these temples were built speak to the skill and dedication of their builders. Each stone was carefully chosen, shaped, and placed. Each temple was thoughtfully designed with attention paid to everything from the layout to the smallest decorative details. These remarkable feats of engineering have stood the test of time, leaving us with profound respect for our ancient ancestors. The temples of Malta are a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the human spirit, a reminder that we are capable of incredible things when we put our minds to it. The temples of Malta are not merely old buildings, they are a testament to a civilization that once thrived on these islands. Such a statement invites us to delve deeper into a time long past, a time when these magnificent structures were more than mere stones. It was around 3600 BC when the first temple builders began their work. They were the inhabitants of Malta, a people who left behind no written records, but communicated their story through the stones. These master builders used only simple tools, their hands and their ingenuity, to erect structures that have stood the test of time. But why did they build these temples? Scholars believe that these structures served as religious sites, places of worship for a civilization that revered the natural world. 
The intricate carvings and designs found within these temples suggest a deep respect for the earth and its cycles. This reverence is evident in the alignment of the temples with the rising and setting of the sun, particularly during the equinoxes and solstices. However, around 2500 BC, these temples were inexplicably abandoned. The once bustling sites fell into silence, their sacred halls left empty. The reason behind this sudden abandonment remains one of the many mysteries surrounding these ancient structures. For centuries, these temples lay forgotten, hidden beneath the layers of time. It wasn't until the early 19th century that they were rediscovered, their grandeur unveiled once more. Since then, these temples have sparked the curiosity and imagination of many. The artifacts found within these temples provide us with clues about the people who built them. Stone spheres, believed to have been used in the construction of the temples, indicate their advanced understanding of basic physics. Small figurines, often of voluptuous women, hint at a possible fertility cult. Intricate carvings of animals and spirals reflect their connection with nature and the cycles of life. The cultural significance of these temples is immense. They are a testament to a civilization that valued community, harmony with nature, and the divine. The temples are a physical manifestation of their beliefs, their hopes, and their understanding of the world. The religious significance is equally profound. These temples were places of worship, sites of rituals, and a connection to the divine. They were sacred spaces where the people could commune with their gods. Today, these temples stand as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of our ancestors. They are a reminder of a civilization that despite having no written language, managed to communicate their story through stone. The mysteries of these ancient temples continue to fascinate us, offering us a tantalizing glimpse into a past that is still largely unknown. They beckon us to step back in time, to wonder and to marvel at the human spirit's enduring ability to create, to worship and to endure. Today, these megalithic structures stand as a testament to Malta's rich and unique heritage. They are silent witnesses to an era long past, their monumental forms etched against the skyline evoking a sense of awe and wonder in all who behold them. Now recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the temples of Hagar Kim and Menajdra represent an invaluable piece of human history. They are not merely relics of a bygone age, but living monuments a testament to the accomplishments of our ancestors and a symbol of our shared cultural heritage. But these temples are more than just stones and mortar. They are the embodiment of a society's beliefs, their hopes and their dreams. They are a mirror reflecting the faces of those who built them, and in their silent, stoic grandeur, they tell us a story that is as much about us as it is about them. The Maltese government, in collaboration with local and international heritage bodies, has embarked on an ambitious project to preserve these temples for future generations. This involves not just physical conservation, but also extensive research and documentation. The aim is to understand better the people who built these temples, the society they lived in and the world they inhabited. And indeed, the temples have become a significant draw for tourists from all over the world, eager to explore Malta's prehistoric past. They come not just for the temples themselves, but also for the rich tapestry of history and culture that surrounds them. The temples are a living testament to Malta's enduring appeal as a destination of historical and cultural significance. But more than anything else, these temples are a testament to the human spirit. They speak of a time when people dared to dream big, to reach for the stars, to build something that would outlast them and echo through the ages. They are a reminder of what we, as a species, are capable of when we put our minds to it. As we contemplate these ancient stones, we are reminded of the enduring power of human spirit and ingenuity. From their intricate construction to their historical significance, the megalithic temples of Malta never fail to intrigue. Over the past 10 minutes, we've journeyed through time, immersing ourselves in the enigmatic beauty of these ancient structures. We've marveled at their sophisticated construction techniques, a testament to the innovation of the people over 5,000 years ago. We've delved into their rich history, exploring their religious and cultural significance that still resonates today. These temples, like Hagar Chim and Najdra, are more than just relics of the past. They are a tangible link to our shared human history, a reminder of the enduring spirit of exploration and discovery. And while we've only scratched the surface in this video, there's a whole world waiting to be explored in Malta. 
So why not take a trip and experience these wonders for yourself? As we bid goodbye to these ancient temples, we carry with us a newfound appreciation for our shared human heritage.